what's going on everyone garnet walters here and i'm here to give you some tips on how to play auxiliary keyboard so please stick around to the end of the video if you haven't subscribed please press the subscribe button and also click on the bell so you know when a new video comes out so let's get started playing auxiliary keyboards also known as playing aux or playing second keyboards is a very important role that sometimes gets looked down upon because it's not the main feature Auxiliary keyboards helps us to port the other band members and also the other singers. I find that auxiliary players create moods with their sounds and they help to accentuate melodies and awesome create awesome lines. So in this video, I'm going to use the song More Than Anything by Lamar Campbell. So the song More Than Anything is a ballad. So I'm not going to be using any crazy stints and stuff, which leads to my first tip. The first tip is to know the sounds that you're using. So in this song, I'm going to be looking for sounds that work for ballad. So one sound I'm going to use is a pad. So I'm using a pad because it fills up a lot of space and it has a warm texture. So after I use the pad, I'll probably add some strings to it to kind of brighten the sound up a little bit. And when I bring the strings in, I'm not going to just crank up the volume. I'm going to fade it in gradually. So this is what it will sound like. So notice that I brought in the strings very gradually because if I did it abruptly, it can startle the listener and it can kind of just mess up with their emotions and stuff. So bringing the instruments in gradually helps to kind of keep the mood. Another thing I'm going to add, I'm going to add some bells just to kind of, you know, make it a little nice and pretty. So I'm going to start with the pad again by itself. Then I'm going to add the strings and then I'm going to add bell to it. Now, I'm playing that chord progression and I'm not really straying away and adding other things in terms of like counter melodies and things like that because the other keyboard player has that covered and the guitar player is probably going to do something as well. So it's important that as an auxiliary player, when I'm playing auxiliaries, I have to stay in my lane, which is point number two. I need to stay in my lane and support because, again, I'm not going to be in the forefront. I'm going to be the support. So if the piano player does something, I can follow it because the piano player is leading. So for the most part, I'm going to stay right here. So now the piano player does something like this.
Now, if the piano player does that kind of move, I can follow that move. If the piano player doesn't do something there, I can do it if I want to, but for the most part, I'll just stay in my lane and have the piano player and whoever else is, you know, adding colors, let them take care of that. Another thing to consider when you're playing auxiliaries is to make sure that some things are meant to be heard and some things are meant to be felt. So that was some advice that I got from a really good friend of mine. So if I start off with the pad, like it has a warmth to it and it has, and it can cover a whole bunch of other frequencies. Now, if I had turned it up like this, really loud, it'll get in the way of everyone else and they won't be able to hear themselves and it takes away from the mood of the song. The pad is supposed to be felt more than heard because again I'm a support so the listener they know that there's something playing but they know that it's not the feature that it's just going to help support so when I add the strings and I fade it up gently like this Gradually, the listener will know that there's a new instrument that's being introduced, but it's not going to get in the way. Like they know that it's strings, but they feel it instead of like hearing it because it's not the feature. The same thing applies with the bells. So I hope that these tips really helped. I find that they were really helpful to me when I had to learn to play auxiliary keyboard. It's an important skill to have because you have to be sensitive to what's going on musically as well. If you stuck around to the end of this video, I'd like to thank you for sticking around. I really appreciate your support. Um, also, again, please subscribe and press the like button. And also, if you want to comment, please feel free to type in the comment or something. Or if you have any tips that you want to share, please feel free to write a comment or something. Again, thank you for watching and have a great day.